Hello there, a new day, a new fix, hopefully, so here I have a radio, I'm not sure if it's vintage or retro or anything, anyway, a friend of mine is trying to put together a collection of old electronics or retro electronics, call it better, you know, and, uh, you know, he really loves this radio, and he asked me if I can fix it, because we can hear that something loose inside there, I can't say when this was made but anyway if we consider this back thing you know like uh, woody stuff and this is wood you know it's looking like a chinese something by the quality control past and doesn't matter you know the point is that we have to fix it so let's see what's happening inside here so far i don't see any kind of um, main power supply so that's probably because this guy it's working on batteries of course it is yeah they used this technology years ago nothing special here all we have it's a single IC doing all the mambo jumbo two transistors and these are 4F and part of the things I don't see anything special here batteries is it working? let's see on off nothing is the potentiometer maybe okay so let's take this out from the case I turn it off well <laughs> I have to call it a kind of very very artisanal job here <laughs> it's amazing you know it's a kind of mixture of electronics and vintage woody stuff interesting okay there we go look at the case it's a lot of work here no with all these woody things it's not very technological isn't that Okay, power on. You know that wire, this one here, that's supposed to be the antenna. The potentiometer is pretty noisy. We can fix that. Let me see. This one is pretty rusty too. All right, here we have the antenna. Let's connect that back. Okay, FM antenna, it's on. There we go. Okay, this is fine. Yeah. All right. The FM is working great. Okay. Let's fix the potentiometer first because it's a mess. We can't work this way. There we go. Let's take that out. Yeah, maybe I can use that. Careful not to break any other wires. At least the antenna ones there, very sensible. There we go. Now we can, I think we can open this guy here and try to fix it with some contact spray. Here. 
yes and I believe I have to take this out too that's a washer keeping everything in place okay mm -hmm. there we go Um, well, it's not looking so bad. And we can have some contact spray. Okay. And the other side here, we can uh, have these contacts a little bit you know just divert them to another position to reach the carbon trace here into another trace let's call it what I'm doing is just to change the path okay you see a very clear uh, you can see it here there is one two traces already so I'm just trying to change that positioning and of course we need to clean this very well and this one too and have some extra tension in there Okay, nothing else to do but to put the things together. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. On and off. So this should be here yeah perfect that's the right positioning and now let's have the washer back mm -hmm. good nothing else to do here perfect and let's have the wires back in place maybe I can have a little bit of soldiering on those points yeah perfect yes that should be fine okay that's the power good to go here nice and one of these wires from the battery which one this is the black one minus perfect
Perfect. This is nice. I'm pretty sure it's working. I'm pretty sure it's working on mediums too because I can't do anything about this, uh, this environment here. It's very, very noisy. So uh, let me put back everything in the case and uh, we'll give a test outside for the medium oh before anything else let me have some contact spray to this guy too hope he's getting inside all right so we have to tie this screws better the variable capacitor here oh <laughs> it was a long time I, I didn't see anything like that so that should go like this oh no this way and we can safely have the loudspeaker back I have the plus here. Nice. And the other one. Good. And here we have the screws. Oh. Um, yeah, where are you? I think this one, no. The circuit there, it's a SEC K627A or KA27427. A lot of numbers, model number, 820 I think it's that's a kind of standard radio board you just buy some of these and have your own case which is it's fun why not some clever guys they turn this into a business so nice for them this is good here Perfect, and the power. Hmm. Okay, that should be okay for now, but I have to consider having this back and then the batteries. Hmm. This has been tied with some hot glue. which I don't like too much. So I'm gonna try to have some screws better. OK. 
okay that's pretty good and solid let's see oh very nice doesn't interfere with the battery that's very nice yeah it's there beautiful much better okay Okay, so here we are outside, away from my computer and from all those uh, radio um, interference uh, source and here we have volume, okay, there we go to mediums here and working great. Absolutely yes. So this is this is a success, you know. I don't know how vintage or retro is this kind of radio. It's looking like a very artisanal, you know, uh, shop, uh, custom shop or whatever radio. Anyway, it's funny and it's looking pretty vintage, if I may say so. Okay, uh, that's it for today. I hope it was interesting and. Uh, in the meantime, please uh, subscribe and like in my channel, you know. Um, of course, like always, be creative and have fun. Bye-bye.